everyone, welcome to my second episode of Sewing 101. In this episode, I'll be showing you how to sew a French seam. If you're new to this series, I highly recommend for you to watch my first episode to learn how to sew straight lines. And if you don't know how to use a sewing machine, I also have a video on that too. And I'll link it all in the description box. Just in case you're wondering, I'll still be posting other videos other than this sewing series, so I'll have a variety of videos. If you're interested in this sewing series and other crafty videos, please subscribe and thumbs up this video. Thank you so much for watching! You will need two 4x7 rectangles out of muslin fabric. Take a crayon and draw something on one of the sides of both pieces of fabric to indicate the right and wrong side. Now you're going to place wrong sides together. Sew them together with the 1 4th inch seam allowance. Before you start sewing, make sure your take up lever is up. When you're sewing your first 3 stitches, make sure you're holding the thread. Place the needle above the marking you made for a 1 4th inch seam allowance. After your first 3 stitches, reverse 3 stitches again to lock it in place and go forward. When sewing a straight line, you want to look at the side of the fabric and study the space. Don't look at the needle because you might go crooked. When you get to the end, make your 3 stitch knot like you did in the beginning. Now iron open the seam allowance. Iron the other side as well. Slowly cut half of the seam allowance so you have 1 eighth. This is what it should look like after. Now fold it in half right sides together and iron it. Make sure the fold is right on the seam. Make a 1 4th inch mark. Now sew them together encasing the raw edges inside. Make a 3 inch knot and continue sewing. Make a knot at the end as well. Now iron it. It's good to label the name of the seam on the fabric so you don't forget. This is what it should look like when you're finished. There are different names for this type of seam, but the common name for this is the French seam. Now if you ever make clothes, you can use this seam on shirts or skirts. Comment below for any questions or comments, and thank you for watching!